Hello, Nana here, and welcome back to Tuskers. This episode we leave off where we left last time. And we explored this uh, salvage hunk. So let's move on to the one that's adjacent to us. We have all four of our drones. Let's have a look. Let's see. Scanning inconclusive. I hate it when that happens. Station type detected. Two. Hmm. So we get the purple shooty guys and probably the swarm. Hull integrity medium. Okay, so there will be unscannable rooms. This is uh, interesting. Let's see. Number two. I just realized I should probably order these messages. It's unlikely they'll be found in order. Plot the course to intercept. If anyone is out there, maintain a steady course. But it's tough with these ships drifting. Captain Jean Vogel. Okay. There's a new icon there. So that the developer did announce that there would be uh, an experimental patch, and vents would now show up on the map. So let's. Uh, Interesting, let's see. And I think there was a, a macro begin to actually set up the first room. So let's have a look how that goes. Gather. Ah, let's see. First point, first point of view. Ooh, okay, there's more. Okay, so that's a vent. Do I have a scanner anyway? Let's see, we got gatherers, we got a motion sensors, we got interfaces, and we got a tow, and we got a generator. We don't actually have a scanner module. Also, we also seem to have three out of four drones with us. That's also an interesting thing. So I remember putting four drones on the boat. Maybe we need a bigger ship to get the fourth one done. Let's see, let's uh, gather all. Yeah. Open room. that we can use that's nice to uh, green door there because it's open and we have an interface here let's do a scan of the ship oh cool let's see only one Defense seems to have activated, that's good. Let's grab all the, the ores. And we navigate robot 1 to room 4. So that vent there in uh, our first room. Not entirely happy about it. Is this another vent? Looks like it could be. And there's an interface here as well. Interface not powered. Yeah, okay. So we navigate uh, number, number two into room four. And generate some power. Ah, uh, yeah, there's multiple drones. That's interface in uh, the room. Uh, let's see. Ship scan. A red vent. Yo, let's uh, put you to the side. So we can actually pass. Actually, the, the hole in the floor there. That's the, the magic thing, not that uh, great over there. Or something like that. Okay, so this is potentially going to be interesting. Uh, 
motion sensing, there is something scary in room 3. Or room 5 even. Um, let's see, we can potentially set up a, a trap in room 3 with the defenses. So, but for now let's, let's prepare the, the, the trap. Let's see, can we get, navigate drone 2 back to room 2? Can we go past? Room yeah, drone one's blocking the way. Dig it. Uh, wait, what? Yeah. Okay, so let's see. We close door six, we open up door four, we close door seven. So we have a big corridor in the bottom. So we enable defenses. Basically, if anything enters into room 3, it gets shot at. Um, let's see, room, room. Yeah, okay, let's open up the door. Navigate drone 3 to room 4. And let's open up door 6. So let's uh, launch a motion scanner from drone 1. So we keep an eye on everything. This is going to be our adventure. Well, actually, we need, uh, we need a generator. Hmm. This is going to get uh, interesting. So if we uh, decouple drone 2, we lose power. That means we can't open and close doors, so we really have to run, redock, and then, only then can we actually uh, save ourselves, so to say. This is. As I said, this is also a very, 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 very tiny room. But there's still uh, fuel in there, so we need it. Okay, conundrum. What can we do? Let's see, the defenses are already turned on, so drones 1 and 3 can actually be stashed away. So we can take 1 and 3 and we just store them in our base. We can, we could be scanning, but yeah. Oh, we have a transporter. That's right, I forgot about that. Yeah. Final transporter signal acquired. Okay, I have no idea what that means. Let's see, we can say uh, teleport drone numbers to a room. Okay, so basically we could say we close up door number six. Oh, okay, we can actually keep it open for now. So, we drive through. Like this. Yeah, we generate power. We close the door. So, drone number two is now locked in. So, we can uh, open up door five. And parallel to that. We can also say transport drone number two into room number two. Aha. And then we can actually spectate with the motion sensor. Slowly, 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 something should wander into room 3. And you can just change the power again. Yeah! And we got shot to bits. Very tiny little bits. The question is, of course, how many enemies were there? But you never know. Well, 
Uh, room 5 is now clear, so we can open it. And actually, went into it. Uh, we got a roll. So this was a very uh, short and sweet trip. And we got to showcase the power of the transporter. And was not power. Yeah, but, but whatever. We actually did a scan already. So we completely cleared. Ah, so the transporter signal from different rooms, it, it gets stronger and weaker. That's interesting, uh, some, some random variants. Especially with some rooms being really hard to scan down. Let's see, interface, defense, so if we activate the defenses, let's see, if we open up room 6 and 7. Okay, it doesn't actually seem to have a direct impact on how strong the signal is. So yeah, this was just one of those purple cannon guys uh, that went through here. Okay. I think this is, uh, that was it, it was a very small, very short uh, exploration trip. And we got some salvage out of it. And was that a signal that something scary burst out of the, out of the vent? I, I, I heard the sounds and I saw something flash by and then it was gone. So I'll actually have to rewatch that on the video to see what happens. But uh, you as the, the viewer could just go back a couple seconds to actually see what the message said and you'll know before me. So that's interesting. Well, we got seven scrap. That's a, a nice amount. We survived for two days now. So let's see. We explored this one. Explored that one. So we have propulsion fuel for five jumps. But I remember if we take a private class ship, they should have jump fuel. So this is probably our next goal. Actually, this is our goal. Next time we're boarding this. But because I'm not quite sure how long this is going to take, this is a class B vessel. Ah, yeah, yeah. The first one we did was class A. That was a really big one. So the, the class C it was only those four or five rooms. So this is going the the next episodes with the, the private uh, B episode uh, salvage class ship. Blah. That's going to be more interesting. It's probably 10, 15 rooms. So that should be a, a full 20 minutes or something for the episode. But yeah, we'll have to see that next time. So this was uh, was short. We got to demonstrate the transporter for a little bit and puzzle our way through one encounter. But for more, I'll see you in the next episode. So, bye bye.